Well, I mean, because it couldn't possibly get any better than that. No, I'm sure it could, but I mean... It was one of those stupid things you do kind of on a whim. <laughs> but definitely one I, I look back upon now as a very good decision. Marnie has something called the Auto Grabber. This thing can milk your cows that? and goats and shear your sheep all on its own. What? It's considered a really? luxury item, so I'm charging 25,000 gold. Fuck, that sounds good. Buy the shit out of it. That's definitely new. That was not in the game before. We have we absolutely have 25,000. That is well worth it in my mind. Would you agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we should get it. And <laughs> the series of tentacles. Auto grabber. That just sounds weird, though. I like to phrase it like that. <laughs> yes, it's the one with the large label on the side <laughs> reading "Not for Sex." <laughs> also, I'm trying to get into the habit of closing the doors on the animals. Oh, at, at night? At night, yeah. That way... Yeah, I used to do it all the time. That just struck me as a good idea. That way they're not, like, you know, all over the place in the morning when I have to feed them. Nah, it's, a, it's an excellent idea. Or collect their stuff, or pet them, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> whatever I'm doing with you is animals. <laughs> Y'all <are> animals! <laughs> Well, I'm not going to replant anything that's left, because there's not really a point in it. At this point, probably not. If she's not open yet, she will be pretty soon. Auto grabber. Okay. She's like, it's considered a luxury item, so I'm charging 25,000 gold. But luxury by whose standards, though? <laughs> Don't insult me, you peasant! <laughs> Just throw the money at her. Make her pick it up off the ground. So, do I put this in the barn, you think, probably, or...? I guess so. I, I Listen, I literally don't know what it is. I have never heard of such a thing in this game. I mean, honestly, if you were making this entire thing up just to mess with me, I wouldn't be entirely shocked. Well, it's in the thing. I don't know how to fucking use it, but it's in there. Maybe it just does it automatically? Like, it just walk up to it afterwards, and it'll have, like, all the stuff? I don't know. I don't know how it convinces the cows to let it milk them. <laughs> they just straddle it, and there you go. Come here, a cow. <laughs> That's like the sex robot from uh, Bojack Horseman. Oh, yeah. Let me see here. I don't know if I got anything interesting I can create. What was it saying where it was just like low power? It's like, are you saying I don't have enough of, like, you know, as a woman? I don't <laughs> It's a, it's a sh kind of a shit joke, but they just did it really well. Okay, so apparently I can make a statue to Baal or something. <laughs> oh. This doesn't sound like a great idea, but I'm going to do it just because I'm, it's cheap and I'm really curious. Okay. I apologize in advance that this curses us. Because I warn you, it really looks like it's going to. I mean, this is really, like, if we have any, like, hardcore Christians in the neighborhood, they're really going to have some questions at this point about this place. <laughs> Look at this thing. Huh. I don't know what it does. Creepy. Yeah, I'm looking this thing up. Wicked statue. It's definitely wicked. Ooh, a random plum on the ground. Take it. Uh, 
All right, there's 2,000 gold and five copper for the uh, pickaxe of mine. I'm going to look that up real quick. Auto driver started valley. Uh, the auto grabber automatically harvests milk from cows, goats, and wool from sheep when placed in a barn. Uh, da, 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 da. I can only get it after reaching level 10 farming. Can purchase as many auto grabbers as they can afford. It acts like a chest Wait, holding what? up to 36 harvested items or stacks. Items can be viewed or removed by right clicking. Auto grabbers can be placed anywhere, but will not do anything unless placed inside of a barn. Uh, the auto grabber prevents the player from earning plus five friendship points from manually milking or shearing an animal. Thus, it will take longer for animals who have not reached the maximum of five parts to do so. But I think all of our cows are pretty much all already. Plus, they're we can, not quite there yet. We can we still just wanna... pet them, you know, and get points though. Yeah, but I mean, in terms of getting up there faster, I mean, it may just not matter to us. It's just a matter of how fast we get higher quality ingredients. We can take it out and just set it outside the barn so we remember that we have it. True. Yeah, it might not be a bad idea. We'll just do that. I'll put it... <laughs> yes, put the sex machine there, <laughs> to the side. <laughs> Is a plum an item for the community thing? No, we've actually... we already got that, I think. Oh, okay, well. Hmm, what to do? What's that noise? Is that, is that those furnaces, I guess? Yeah, I think so. I've got five of them going at once. It's probably them. I keep hearing like a hey. oh, oh, noise. Crystallarium just finished another diamond. Yeah, it is. Nice. <laughs> Crystallarium. Ah, man. Hmm. I'm gonna go get that hardwood for today, I guess, and fight all, all right. the slimes. I'm going to start chopping down some of the trees we've actually got harvested. I really can't imagine what kind of player takes that perk that, like, wood is worth 50% more! <laughs> I can't imagine what kind of situation that would be useful in. When you right-click with this sword, you just block with it, don't you? I think so. Okay, that's what I thought it looked like. fish in this pond here in this little hardwood area do not put up a fight at all yeah there's only I think it only has like two fish that can drop from it and one of them like the main the really common one is kind of worthless not a high level fish Just a carp. Got a bag full of carp, huh? <laughs> I only just now killed ten slimes, apparently, so I can now enter the Adventurer's Guild. <laughs> That's almost ridiculous. 
I've been going the pacifist route. We've been trying to talk to the slimes. Appeal to their better nature. Oh, can that, can that blue slime kind of, like, poison you or something? I think like, all the slimes actually can, to some degree. I was going, like, really, really slow for, like, two seconds. Yeah, that's the slime debuff. I'll fish a little bit before I come back, I guess. I don't guess our characters put on jackets or anything when wintertime gets here, do they? I don't think so, actually. Alright, we're up to... 638 wood. Not too bad. It's enough to maybe upgrade the barn. Which might be a good move for us. Get more cows, or goats, or something. Uh-huh. Can you, like, ride your horse into, like, town and stuff? I think you can, actually. And I believe the horse and the dinosaur are both, like, the same kind of creature. Like, you can ride both of them. Yeah. I've caught more trash today than I normally ever do. Okay, I'm heading back. What was it that we were trying to get for the loom? Uh, cloth, I think. Because we needed to make the mill, right? For the... to make the flour? Yep. One of those long chains of connected things we needed to make, I think. Yeah. Alright. Sell that, sell that. You already in bed? Uh-huh. Put this trash in the recycling thingy. Maybe it'll make some cloth by some chance. Was it the trash or was it the newspaper? I can't remember. Uh, newspaper is trash. I mean, which one of them? There was one of them that would potentially turn into... Oh, the newspaper, if you put it in the recycling machine, will turn it into something. Potentially turn into cloth. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Oh, that was newspaper. Yeah, I think so. You son of a bitch. What? Stupid fucking chicken statue in front of my bed. <laughs> I was wondering when you'd notice that. Well, of course I noticed I couldn't get to bed. It was blocking my bed. <laughs> uh, I'm really not sorry. Yeah, I know you're not. <laughs> hey, did you take rancher or tiller for your farming, Burke? Like the uh, the animal products or the crops? Uh, what, describe them for me. Animal products worth 20% more, or crops worth 10% more? I think I took the crops. I'll take animal products, then. Because we didn't have animals, I think, when I got that or something. Or we were, like, we'd just gotten, like, chickens or something at the best, so... Yeah, so it wouldn't have made sense at the time. Ah, oh, it made a rock. That's lame. Oh, well. I got a rock. <laughs> Four, okay, what's there to harvest five, today? Six, Almost nothing. Wow, really almost nothing. You yeah. know, there are days like that. I got a yam and a, uh, an eggplant. Eh, it could be worse.
content. Don't encourage the gods. And he said it could be worse. We have permission. Go, go, go. <laughs> go, go. Smite them. <laughs> Ooh, actually, that wasn't a rock. That was a piece of coal. That's useful. Oh, it looked like a, piece, looked like a rock to me. We definitely need coal. We start to run low on that after a while. I don't make bombs. The cows God do damn. not eat a lot. Mega bombs are expensive. They don't? No, there's still three pieces of straw in here from yesterday. Oh, yeah, they've been eating from uh, the garden, or the, the weeds. Oh, maybe that's what it was. Ooh, all of our preserve jars just uh, paid yeah, off. Yeah, I gotta gather them off. I just got it. Okay, cool. Did you refill them? Not yet. I'm gonna move this other preserve jar over the other ones. Yeah, there's two of them there. Yep, I'm just gonna wait till that one's finished. I've just been going back and forth between salmonberry and uh, blackberries. I don't guess it really matters. They all—they all seem to come out the same. Yeah, as far pretty as much. Price. Well, eventually we'll get the ability to make, um, which one call it? It's the, uh, it's expanded stuff for the house that basically means we can get, we can, uh, forcibly upgrade items in terms of quality. Oh. Hmm, I don't know. Alright, I'm running over to get, uh, the barn upgraded. Okay, I'm going down here to... Get the hardwood again, and I'll probably just spend the day fishing. Just get that hardwood. <laughs> Giggity. Get out of here, green slime. One shot. I kind of like fighting those. It makes me kind of feel awesome when I can just take them out that easy. They pose no threats. And we must destroy them! <laughs> they must be destroyed. Yeah, it locks goats. Fuck yeah. Like that episode of South Park where they are, you know, they're playing World of Warcraft and everything. And in order to get to a high enough level to actually compete with that one guy, they had they just basically stay in the safe area and just farm like the low level goats or whatever it is. Like that oh, yeah. would have taken forever to do. Especially considering that, like, okay, so this is one of those things where I've actually played the game enough, I know roughly which bits of that were accurate and which weren't. And, yeah, it was a very funny episode, but it was kind of ruined for people that had played the goddamn game, because there were so many pieces of it were like, no, that wouldn't work. Past a certain level, you don't get experience for killing worthless shit anymore. <laughs> oh, you don't? Yeah, the game actually had a dynamic experience system where if you could kill something that was higher level than you by a significant margin, you actually got, like, exponentially more experience for it. So if you were goddamn good at the game, you could actually get, like, level up really fast by going to areas that were a little ahead of you and just, you know, wrecking quests in that zone. Whereas if you kind of sucked, you'd actually level kind of slowly because you'd be fighting stuff that was lower level than you and which would be worth less and less experience. Right. But it all kind of went down, it did have a zero point, like a point at which it's like, no, you don't get any fucking experience for killing a pig when you're level 50. Your character wouldn't reasonably gain any experience from that. <laughs> what have I learned from killing this pig for the 500,000th time? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing of use. Yeah, I, man, I still miss that game. It really, I mean, like, look, you had to kind of like that style of game, but it was, if you if you enjoyed that style of game, it was literally the best of its type by a long shot. Not to mention the fact, like, it was, it was the only game I've ever played where I played for eight fucking years and did not run out of content. <laughs> like, I'm not talking about repeated content, I'm talking about content. <laughs> well, I mean... That's it's one way nuts. to keep somebody addicted to the game. Oh, yeah. I mean, I paid a lot of money for it over time, but 
It's the only game I could think of that actually like justified a, a monthly subscription. What was that? It, like, what did that cost? Uh, if you bought it month by month, it was fifteen bucks a month. But if you paid in larger blocks, it went down. So if you bought six months at a time, it was like twelve bucks a month. Hmm. But man, rock solid servers. You know, even at launch day, the game would perform without a hiccup. Not to mention, they actually improved it over time. Like, I mean, all the features people wanted, they eventually added. Like, they every time a new competitor came out, within a month, they would have all of the competitor's best features added into their game. <laughs> it must have been, like, fucking suicidal to try to fight them. I remember in particular, I had one friend who got me to try this other MMO at one point. And it was good. I mean, it was well done, pretty fun, decent graphics. But the thing that kind of killed it for me is I was just sitting there realizing after I've been playing for like an hour, like, man, I want to go back and play World of Warcraft. Aww. Like, all this stuff is decent, but goddamn, like, playing the rogue in this makes me want to go play my, my goblin rogue again. <laughs> is, is World of Warcraft a standalone, or is it part of Blizzard or something? Uh, it, it's one of their games. It's part of the Blizzard launcher. Did Blizzard end up just taking it on, or did it start with Blizzard? Oh, it started with them. I mean, they made World of, they made Warcraft 1, Warcraft 2, Warcraft 3. World of Warcraft came after that. And it, it was basically one of the first giant MMOs. I guess the other Warcraft games weren't anywhere near as popular, huh? No, they got massive popularity. Warcraft 1 and 2 at the time were phenomenal hits. And Warcraft 3 is still being played. In fact, you know Dota? Yeah. Dota was a mod for Warcraft 3 that became so insanely popular they made it into its own thing. Dota 2, I guess. Yeah. I mean, like, the, the popularity of Warcraft is insanity. I mean, I'm not even a big fan of the old Warcraft games, but they you can't say they didn't do well. Well, I mean, I could, because I had no idea, but you couldn't. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's actually been one of those things I'd, I'd kept in the back of my mind as a potential thing to try playing with you at some point, but frankly, I'm a little worried about suggesting... Like, I, I don't think it would necessarily be a good idea. I don't know if I'd Mostly be willing because... to play a game that makes me pay out a monthly fee to play it. Well, that's the thing, though. Technically, you can play for free level 20. Which it's after that you have to start. Well, yeah, your character just can't level beyond that. You can do whatever you want, but I mean, you'd be pretty hard pressed to uh, to stay alive past that. You know, to go too much further. Yeah. But as far as the game experience goes, there's actually still a lot of neat stuff before that point. But I, it's been kind of a weird thing because one, I didn't think it was necessarily like fair to potentially expose you to something that was like highly addictive. <laughs> And not that I think you're, like, particularly weak to that or anything, but I just don't... Like, I have ethical concerns if you weren't, like, already interested or something. But beyond that, I'm also not certain it's the type of game you'd necessarily be into. I just don't really have a good impression of it. And beyond that, I also... There's a small part of it would be a little worried to go back and think and find out it's not as good as I remember. Because I played as little as, like, maybe three or four years ago. And at the time, I, I still have very fond memories of that. Well, I've had that happen with quite a few games myself, where I remember playing them and loving them at the time, and then, you know, a few, mm. like five years later, you try to go back to it, and it's like, oh, this was more fun, I swear, I promise. Yeah. I've had some games that have still held up very well, but others, not so much. Well, like that Call of Duty United Offensive, like, you know, I, I swear, I used to play the, I, I would sit down and play six, seven, eight hours a day online multiplayer. Mm. Just base assault. Just one game mode. And I couldn't get enough of it. And now, I still play it every day just about. Like... Yeah. But I, I can only play maybe one or two maps. And that's an hour at the most. Like, combined. And then I'm like, eh, I'm, okay, I'm, I've had enough. I'm, I'm good for today. Yeah. And see, the thing about it is, it's not even that I lose and I'm just like, alright, I'm tired of playing. Because... I'm really good at that game. That's one of those online PvPs where I win 90% of the time. Yeah. But it's just, I don't know, I just get done playing and I'm just like, eh. 
I don't want to play anymore. I'd rather go lay down or, <laughs> you know, play something else. I don't know if it's just me getting older or if the games... Maybe it's I've, I've played so many newer games that compared to that one, it's just like, man, it's just gaming has gotten so much better as far as, like, the smoothness and the aiming and the controls. Yeah, it, it's hard to say sometimes which is which. Well, in that game, there's a lot of things you can get caught. There, there's still a lot of, you know, hidden, like, little polygons and shit, like, in doorways and, like, bushes. You know, I was like, oh, this is a bush. Oh, I, could, I could obviously just run through. No, yeah, you can't. They didn't. They didn't make it that way. So it's like, you get caught on all kinds of shit. Yeah, I know what you mean. I, uh... I don't know. I've had some games I go back to, and I they're just as fucking good as I remember. Like, the original XCOM still holds up despite being 20-something years old. It is still just as awesome as when I first played it. But other games... I think it's especially the ones that relied very heavily on technology... Like, I remember playing one of the first Need for Speed games on the PC and being fucking blown away by it. It was such a fun racing game at the time, I bet I'd hate it now. <laughs> Whereas, like, XCOM, which didn't require as much on graphics, it was more on imagination, that game holds up great. Yeah, there's not a lot of racing games, I don't think, that hold up that well. But Except Burnout 3. Burnout 3 will always be the best racing game. Uh, Gran Turismo 2, I love that game. But, mm. um... Hey, you mentioned that one. I've, I've actually 100 percent of that game. And Damn. It was Wait, you 100 percent of the Gran Turismo game? Those ones are, like, yeah. insanely difficult to 100%. Yeah, I, I did it at, over the summer at Seth's one, like, like five, six years Don't ago. Don't they have, like, the ones where it's like, oh, yeah, you need to race, like, do tw uh, three 24-hour races in a row or some shit? Uh, like there's, that. like, it had, like, eight endurance races that took about two hours each. It wasn't that bad. Oh, damn. I got a lot of junk. I have 18 algae. Trash, two stick, and a broken CD. There shouldn't be any algae left where I was casting out. Should make another recycling machine. Uh, well, green algae doesn't count, I don't think. And of course, I all this whole this whole time I had uh, two extra eggs and two things of milk that I hadn't. I, I was fishing, so I didn't get to, uh... They can toss them in now. Yeah. No, don't eat it. You go through this every day. You want to eat the product. You can't do that, okay? Put that there. Put that there. Uh, da 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 And I'll just put that there. All right. How much money we make today? Hey, level five foraging. Nice. Not a lot of money. Yeah, still decent.